Man. All right. Let, let's get right in it, man. I mean, let's talk about the early beginnings. Because let me tell you, when I heard your records, like I told Ronnie earlier, it has that like old school sound to it, mm -hmm. vintage, but it doesn't sound old. So kind of just take me through your early beginnings as an artist. Well, you know what? I come from a small town called Live Oak, Florida. And, um, you know, there weren't many musical outlets. I've been singing since I was five years of age. And I can just remember my father when I was 12. He took me yeah. to a gospel concert. And that wow. night, I decided that night as a 12-year-old kid that I was going to be a professional singer for the rest of my life. And <laughs> um, when I began to make music and make my own beats and uh, try to do my own recordings, I got better and better and better, but I had nowhere to put the music. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I connected with a producer out in Orlando by the name of Andy Anderson, who okay. connect, connected me with a, with a friend by the name of Mezzo. And um, one night I can remember, um, I was just singing on my birthday too. And uh, I was just like, you know what? I need a break, Lord, I just need some help. And he calls me on my birthday and he's like, hey, I got you a gift. I said, what do you have? He said, I got you Rodney Jerkins. And I'm just like flipping out. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, no, man, don't, don't play with me, man. But it was true. And a few weeks later, I drove up to Rodney's house in Florida because uh, they were down for the holidays. And I got to perform for him live. And I, I sung The Change Gonna Come. I remember I was born by the river. And mm. I, I believe like, uh, on the first line, I knew I had him. I had him hooked in on the first line. Wow. And uh, when I was singing, I just was like, my my life is going to change. When I when I had the opportunity to sing before him, I knew my whole life would change. And he later signed me to Dark Child Records. And then we've been rocking now with Island Records over at Universal since then. So the journey has been long, but appreciative of everything that I've gone through. And um, I'm just excited to get to the next level now. That's amazing. Well, I mean, talk about the early beginnings in, from, from the standpoint of, you know, you have a very soulful voice, a lot of old school influences. Was that kind of like your main influence and influences growing up? Or did you also listen to the modern and current stuff? Well, you know what? Uh, when I was growing up, I did listen to uh, a lot of different variations of music. But my favorite singer has always and will forever be Sam Cooke. I Makes think sense. that yeah. the way that he catered his voice and uh, the way he held his notes and the way he adjusted his wind and all those things uh, was something that was very attractive to me as an artist. That's some, yeah. someone that I wanted to try to mirror, but make my own sound. But I did listen to other artists such as, you know, James Brown and Marvin Gaye. Mm. I, I enjoy, a lot of people don't know, I enjoy Bob Marley and Akon, just a, a, uh -huh. a wide range of, of music, but Sam Cooke is definitely my favorite, and I would just intensely study him, study the way he holds his mouth, the way he uh, does his, his, his breath from note to note, and, and I think that once I kind of mastered it, then I wanted to develop my own sound behind it. Love it. So then you link up with Rodney, and you got to take me to your first moment. You're working with Rodney Jerkins at what? Because this guy's a legend. This guy has done so much over his entire career. What was that moment? You're working with him. You're watching him in the studio, and you're like, I got to get to that level. Man, you know what? When I was in the studio with, with Rodney, I don't think I had the time. I feel like now I have yeah. more shock now after the fact than during that moment because I was so focused on bringing my family out and taking my, my wife and my kids to the next level. I was just right. focused on getting there. And in that moment, I had to take advantage of that opportunity. And boy, did I ever. <laughs> I took advantage of that opportunity. And now when I look back, like, I have these moments where I'm like, yo, I'm working with a guy who has worked with so many legends and I, I've heard personal comments from Roddy that I won't say here because I don't want to brag on myself, but for him right. to just consider me um, a, an artist, for, to be an artist to work with and to sign, it's such a right. high honor. So now <laughs> when I look back, I'm just like blown away by some of the things we've accomplished in just sort in a short period of time. Yeah, I mean, you got to take me through the creative process with yourself or even with yeah. you and Rodney. Like, how does he push you and how do you kind of push him as a producer? Like, what's that synergy like? You know what? I think when I first met Rodney, the chemistry was automatically there. When we first wow. got in the studio, 
Um, our first original song uh, that we record, record is called Try. We did it in one take, and that was the take. That they called me One Take Jack, and that's the take we use uh, until this day. But when we got in the studio, um, the chemistry was just amazing. But we honestly didn't know what, what our style was going to be. We had to figure it out. And we just wrote song after song after song. And everything was sounding really good. Everything was yeah. sounding really, really good. And we got in there. And I think we had uh, like an aha moment after mm. being in there. It's like, okay, this is the sweet spot. Uh, because, you know, Rodney hadn't worked with a voice in this style. And obviously, I'd never worked with a producer on that level. So yeah. once we got together and we um, figured things out, man, I tell you what, it was magic. And I know that everybody's going to love what, what we got coming out. And um, the process, it seems like it was so quick, man. We have, in a short period of time, we recorded 88 songs. Wow. In a very short period of time. So um, it's, it's just, it's, it's really was magic working with Rodney. It was crazy. Yeah. So much That's fun, crazy. too. And then even the subject matter of your song, this is nothing that we've heard in a long time. No one wants to talk about this stuff. It's not deemed mm -hmm. as cool, per se. Like, was there any pressure for you to have to check yourself and be like, is this, is this the type of music I want to put out? This isn't necessarily cool. Like, did you have those moments? No, not at all, because the music that I put out is uh, reflective of who I am as a person. You know, right. I want to talk about the social injustice. I want to talk about racism. I want to talk about the things that no one else wants to talk about because I believe that I'm making a difference. And that, by the way, was the reason why I was so attracted to artists of old times like Sam Cooke and Marvin yeah. Gaye. They had a story to tell and they were making a difference in the world with their voice. Right. Yeah, and then I heard the record Saved not too long ago. That record is crazy. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. That's one of become one of my favorite records that we have out. And it's definitely a fan favorite. Yeah. What's kind of the response that you've gotten? Because I know, you know, the fans are going to love it, but I know you've gotten a lot of love from industry people, fellow mu musicians, artists. Like, what's that love like? You know what? I, I receive it in the most uh, humble way possible. And I think that it's just super amazing. But I don't let that uh, feed me too much. I think it's yeah. very kind, but again, I don't let it get to my head because I, I got so much more that I want to do and I, I want to reach my goals. And, uh, you know, I was always taught growing up that uh, the lower that I stay, the higher I'll go. So that's kind of my message to everybody out there. If you really want to do something, you really want to um, uh, move forward in life, you just got to stay humble and uh, everything will happen in time. Well, that. Now you have the new song out, Questions, came out yeah. a month ago. Um, just talk about that song a little bit. That's, a, that's another great record of yours. Yeah, so uh, Questions, this song, uh, man, it really deals with a lot of what's going on today. You know, we have so much, again, injustice, uh, whether that be social injustice, whether that be uh, the racism, the police brutality. And I believe this song targets so many uh, broad subjects. Uh, the first line of the song says, who do you think you are to pray to God and take a life? I mean, who do you think you are to pray to God and take a life? You know, what if they beat you down and treat you like you don't have any rights? These right. are things that's going on. And uh, I, I think that this song reflects the message of today's uh, time. And we got to bring some kind of resolution to all these questions. Wow, that's powerful. So I know you were working on an EP uh, before yeah. this whole pandemic happened. Like, what's the, what's the EP about and, you know, what can we expect from it? Well, you know, uh, the EP is called The Truth Revealed. And, uh, you know, to, in short, it's about truth. And uh, I believe that there is no such thing as my truth. I just believe that there's the truth. And I'm doing uh, the best that I can to give people what I believe is the truth. And, and by mm. the truth, that simply means asking all of the tough questions and, 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 and saying things that a lot of times people don't want to hear. And um, the, the, whole, the whole miles. writing... Um, the of sorry, that's my, my Alexa talking in the background. But the okay. whole writing <laughs> experience uh, comes through the lens of life. 
it's just all about coming through the lens of life. And uh, I, I know that people will be touched by it. And the goal of the EP is to transform life, give people hope, healing, and transformation. And uh, the date for that is forthcoming uh, due to the pandemic. But in the meantime, we will be releasing some singles and things of that nature. Right. That, that's amazing. And I mean, what kind of message do you want people to know? Because like, you know, we, we've talked about you signing with Rodney and now you guys, you're, you're on. Like, I'm sure you, there was a grind period. There was a grind period before you even got to where you are today. Like, just take me through that grind period and what you want people to take away from that. Because every artist has a story before they get to the success part. Oh, most definitely. You know, one of the things that I tell people um, is the struggle. I can remember uh, about two years ago, I was teaching school. Wow. You know, I was teaching music and also special needs. And during the same time, uh, my oldest daughter, uh, my firstborn, due to a medical malpractice, her arm was paralyzed. And I just wasn't making a lot of money then. And I can remember having to make a decision because the insurance company denied us 11 straight times. They said that they wow. would not cover the surgery. And I look at my wife and I say, hey, you know, we're going to either have to like stop paying rent and be evicted so that we can afford this surgery or she's going to have to live with her arm like this. And uh, of course, we chose to stop paying the rent and we saved our money and we went all the way to Cincinnati, Ohio and wow. got that surgery when she was six months of age. And I moved in and, and by the way, I was young, but I was used to doing everything on my own. I never, even though my mother and father had been good to me, I was raised in a way that I could be responsible, but I had to move back in with my parents. And um, things were just really difficult. We went through a lengthy lawsuit of four years. And after four years, we were offered $1 to sell wow. the case. And I was really discouraged. You know, this, this, this grind and everything that I'm doing, I'm making music. This is what I know can get me out. This is the only wow. way and the only thing that, that I know can make, uh, can take me and my family to the next level. Um, but it's not working. And my daughter's getting, has a paralyzed arm and I'm living with my parents and I'm not making enough money. And I've just been offered $1 to settle a case. It's so much going on at one time, but I never, ever gave up. So many wow. times I felt like I should have given up. So many times I felt like quitting. So to all you are listening, you have dreams and goals. Don't give up no matter how hard it is. You know what you're capable of doing. You just got to keep on believing and keep on pushing. And I'm telling you, my blessing uh, from Mezzo came in the nick of time because I remember saying that night, um, I was literally saying in the, uh, I was in a church service on my birthday. And I remember wow. praying to God saying, Lord, if you don't do this for me, I'm just going to be comfortable doing what I'm doing. Um, right. I'm just going to be comfortable teaching and being a, a worship leader. And um, just my life as it is, is difficult, but I'm just going to leave it this way. And mm -hmm. um, when he gave me that news, it was a, a victory in that moment. It was a victory. So the grind, man, is so much appreciative, man. My story that I always give when I go to different, whether it be a college campus or anything, I always tell people, take the long road. I am so glad that I got here the way that I got here because I wow. appreciate it so much more. Man, that's powerful. Jack Ross, man, vocals, killing it, musically, killing it. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to add? I mean, your journey has been amazing, and I know a lot of people are going to really get to know your talents, but what would you want people to know about your talents, and what, what should they be checking out right now? You know, man, if I could add anything uh, or want people to know about my talents, simply the work that I put in. And um, I, I put in a lot of work. I put in an awful lot of work. I can remember being 13 years of age, practicing at my dad's church, for literally like eight hours a day. That's what I did. Uh, practice my vocals. And I just want people to know that if you really work hard, uh, what, whatever gift or talent that you're trying to pursue, it will uh, come to 